It's the hammer and the hammer time, your creative spark. Listen, this is the very first video I've ever done, so it's not going to be perfect. Uh, keep the expectations low, but I'll do the best I can. So essentially, I am a retired sign guy, and I love the vinyl cutters. So currently, I'm actually working part-time at a makerspace in a local college. I love to teach. So I went and got myself a, my own vinyl cutter. So this is about today, the Viver 34-inch vinyl cutter 870. Take a look at it and see, is this $400 machine worth it compared to say a two, five, or even $10,000 machine? And maybe you just need a Cricut. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm just gonna go through this machine and we're gonna do the walkthrough between the software. And I, I just wanna say right now, the software comes with the Sign Master. It's a very basic addition. And I gotta tell you, it is basic, it's almost childlike. It is worth this about $75 upgrade to the Pro version. The Pro version is easy to use and is very similar to what I used to use. So it's a very good software. That's what we're gonna be using today. So we're gonna go through the software, we're gonna go through the setup and the use of the vinyl cutter, actually cut something and then come over here to do the weeding, masking, and application. And I hope to do absolutely everything within a five minute time frame. So let's go over here to the vinyl cutter and the computer. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to bring in an image. And it's going to be a black and white bitmap image. If it wants to open it, there we go. And I'm just gonna go over to the fill and you're gonna see that it does nothing because it's a bitmap image. We need an outline. So let's go back up to images. We're going to vectorize it. Right now it's just analyzing the image. Done there. And this is the spot where we can actually do some cleaning up and we don't really need to. It's actually doing pretty good here. So let's do the trace. And it looks like it's scanning the image now. We're almost done. It looks good to me. We hit accept. Now let's just look over here to the fill icon. Look at that. There's in the fill and there's an outline. Exactly what we need. So the next step here, let's just go over to the node editor. We're going to select everything. And we're just going to go up here to reduce nodes. And it just makes the image a bit more simple. Back over to the main select tool. Now let's resize this just for demonstration purposes. And let's bring it down here to the bottom right hand corner because that's where the, the vinyl cutter will read the origin point from the vinyl cutter. At this point, we're ready to cut. That's it. Go send it to the cutter. There we go. So now we're going to go over to the cutter and set it up. So at this point, we're gonna run the vinyl through if you notice here, they actually put a ruler on the front, which is great, but it doesn't allow you to line up the vinyl so it skews properly. So I actually added one on each side so you can turn around and line the vinyl up perfectly. Like that. Let's lower the pinch rollers. How about we turn the baby on too? That would help. Welcome, it's online. So what we have to do now is hit leave, which allows us to now move the vinyl. We're gonna move it forward and back. Our skew is really good, so let's set it up here. At this point, we hit origin set. This is where the vinyl will start cutting. We're online, we're ready to start cutting. But before we do that, let's do something here. Let's just say you're going to use a smaller piece of vinyl you want to make sure your your image will fit entirely on that piece of vinyl so what we're going to do as soon as i find my cursor here it is area test this will show you exactly where the vinyl will be cutting perfect let's cut now proceed with cutting yes
perfect. Let's go offline for a second. Let's feed this vinyl forward a bit. Hit the origin set again. Great cutter here. Just put it in one of the grooves that are here and slide this along. Perfect cut. Now what we're going to do is come over here. We're going to do what's called weeding out the background. And this vinyl here was cut at 70 grams of pressure, which is not much at all. And as you can see, it did a beautiful cut. Don't need that. Don't really need this part either. So it's weeded out. Now this here is a holder I made for my pre-mask. Because when you're dealing with a roll this big, it's kind of hard to actually unroll it. I have the adhesive side up. This allows us to put this on our image and then transfer it to wherever we want. Essentially, we now have an image that we can take and we can put this wherever we want. Like that. There we go. I would say under in five minutes, we brought an image, traced it, cut it, weeded, masked it, and applied it. It's that simple. Now, what would I say in terms of comparison to a very expensive cutter? At the makerspace where I am, I have access to a very expensive cutter, about $10,000. I did an experiment. I took a butterfly, silhouette of a butterfly. I cut it on that machine, and I cut it on this machine. Now, yes, the other cutter may be faster and, you know, fancier, but when they were cut, you could not tell the difference. This machine's 400, the other one was 10,000. If you're a hobbyist or a part-time sign guy, I'm not sure if I'd actually use this machine if I was running a sign shop that was just pumping out, pumping out, pumping out. I don't know the long-term durability of this, but as for the needs of most people, this is all you really need. Now, if you need a Cricut, well, if you're cutting say cardboard stencils or um, uh, like fabric, something like that. Yes, you're gonna need a Cricut, that can't do this. But the advantage of this is like a Cricut, you can cut smaller pieces of vinyl, but you can go up to 30, I'd say you're cutting maybe 32 inches wide on this if you want. Um, you can do roll stock. Whereas you go to a hobby shop and you buy the one foot by one foot or one foot by two foot or three foot. You're very limited on what you can actually put into a Cricut machine. And it's expensive that way. This is so much more versatile and you can cut roll stock as long as you, you want. I've got a new Bronco that I'll be putting the graphics on and I'll post a link to that later on when we're done. Um, but yes, 100% this is an amazing vinyl cutter. I will leave a link to this cutter in the description. Plus two, if you want to leave some comments, if you want me to do some tutorials on the it's software or the cutter itself, I would love to do it. I love teaching over at the Makerspace, showing students how to do things. So that would be the way I would do it. Anyways, if anybody out there remembers the Flintstones, remember this. Scooby-Doo!